So we've met the scalar product and we've gone through several situations where we need to use it. One thing that we haven't really considered up to this point is because cosine theta can take on values between minus 1 and 1, it can take on the value of 0. So here is the cosine curve, which we all know and love. Okay, so here's 360 degrees, here's 0 degrees, here's 1, and here's minus 1. And so that point is 180 degrees, of course. And this point is the, really the one that we're interested in at 90 degrees. So we know that cosine of 90 degrees is equal to 0. So if theta equals 90 degrees, then what we have is that 0 is equal to a dot b over mod a mod b. But of course you can multiply both sides by the mod a mod b. So in order for the fraction to be equal to 0, that means that a dot b has got to be equal to 0. So essentially, ignore that, and just say, if theta is 90 degrees, then a dot b is equal to 0. And if a dot b is equal to 0, then cosine theta will be equal to 0. And so the angle between the two vectors will be 90 degrees. Now, you might also be thinking, well, it could be 270 degrees, couldn't it? But yeah, if you counted the reflex angle, right, it would be like saying, what's, what's the angle between these two vectors? And instead of saying it's 90 degrees, you're saying it's 270 degrees, OK? So essentially, if a dot b is equal to 0, then theta is 90 degrees. And so this is an if and only if statement. Okay, It works both ways. It is a logical equivalence. So this means that a and b are perpendicular, so they are at right angles, if and only if a dot b is equal to 0. And this is the important statement, OK? And this um, has already played a part when we introduced the Cartesian equation on a plane in the previous section. We used that fact in order to derive the result.